Hello. So this is a quick video to cover the functionality of the CNC FNS program. This is a starting feed and speed calculator for Vetric applications. Now this is not affiliated with Vetric, Amana Tools, or Ansrud in any way. It is a program I wrote for personal use, and I'm just releasing it in hopes that it may help other people that are getting into the CNC world. So the purpose of this program is to allow you to come through and through this interface here, enter the information on your specific CNC router bit, and then have that information generate the required data for Vetric applications. So this is applications such as vCarve, Cut3D, and Aspire. Now, when you have a router bit, and say you go to a website like Amana Tools, you're gonna to be able to get the data on this bit. So this data sheet here is going to give you a bunch of information, and you need to take this information and then turn it into the information required by the Vetric application. So this program will allow you to enter this data and then do that conversion for you automatically. So to start off here, I just have this router bit loaded up. So this is a number 46280. And I just wanna come through and start entering this information into the program here. So to start off, we have the shank and we have the diameter. So we just need to come over here and locate the shank diameter. And this is a quarter of an inch. So in any of these diameter and radius areas over here, we can type either the fractional value or the decimal value. So I'm gonna type in one slash four and hit enter. And if you type in the fractional value, it's automatically going to convert that to a decimal value for you. Next, we need to go to the tip diameter. And if you have the tip radius, you can enter that as well. So you can see this diagram over here is giving us the tip radius and the tip diameter. So we have both of those. So if we say we want to enter in just the tip radius here, we can type in 1 slash 64, and it's going to automatically generate the tip diameter. Next, we have the flutes. So we're just going to plug that in, which is 3. And we have our taper angle. So right now, this data here is giving us a half angle. So we can type in 6.2. If we had the included angle, we could type that in as well. The router and spindle speed here is a constant value. So I'm using a DeWalt router and I just set it to a specific speed. So this program is not going to calculate specific RPM values for you. So just need to put in the static value and then go from there. So here I'm just gonna leave this at 1800. Now the next data we're gonna enter in is the chip load. Now oftentimes the companies that make these bits will have a diagram like this. And then they'll also have a second PDF usually that contains information on the chip load. So for this tool, which was that 6280, you can see I have this number over here and it's reading as that 132nd diameter. So I just need to locate 132nd. And then here I have the chip load for the different materials. So we have this chip load here for aluminum, copper, brass, plastic, acrylic, and plexiglass. And we have this chip load data for wood, MDF, and siphon foam. So I'm just going to come through and copy the chip load data for the wood, MDF, and side foam, and just enter that in here, and then copy the high value as well, and enter that in. And now I have this filled out. Now once we have this filled out, we just need to select from the tab up here what kind of bit we want to generate. So right now, this is a tapered ball nose. I just need to come over to the program and just click on Vetric Tapered Ball Nose. Now after you click this, you're gonna see all this information is filled out. Now the information that is provided here is based on these calculations from the manufacturers. So these are just these simple math calculations down here, but you don't have to do this manually. So this is just taking these calculations and applying them here for you. So you just basically input this, click over here, these calculations are already done. Now these calculations here are based off of these manufacturer values, so they're rough starting points. These are not gonna be your final calculated values. Now the precise feed rate is based on a lot of different variables. So depending on what type of machine you have, depending on how much give it has, all sorts of stuff is going to come into play to determine your precise feed rate here. But this is going to give you a ballpark for those values. Now if you wanna double check these as well, you can see I have a high and low value here. And if I go back to the Amana tool, it's giving us the values for these here as well. And this is based on that 1800 RPM. So you can see it's giving that 15 inch to 30 inch, and this is where we're falling into for our feed rate here. So this program is just allowing to enter this in and then generate this data for you. So after you have this data generated, we can now go over to our Vetric application. We can go and select our tool bit here, 
we can add a new tool and now we can copy and paste the information here over here. And once again, these are the different rates here. So we have the low and the high. And you'll notice that the Vetric tool database is only looking for one value. So usually picking in between one of these gets you started into the values you need to enter for your Vetric application. Now, one other thing that we have here for this tool is I've created a few tool presets for this as well. Now, most of these are based around the Amana bits, so the information that is in this spreadsheet here. So if I come through and say select the 46280 tool here and get a little image of it, and then it's going to have all that information. I can set this to the material type. So if I go to that aluminum, copper, and brass, you're going to see my chip load value is going to change. And I have quite a range of bits here as well. So here we have a end mill bit here. And if I go to the Vetric end mill now, I'm going to end up with the information for that end mill. Now, some of these may give you extremely high values. So if I say select something like 46285 and we go to ball nose, you can see I'm going to get a feed rate that's pretty high here for the low and the high. And once again, these are based on those manufacturer values. So if you have a hobbyist machine, you probably don't want to run this at a crazy speed here. So something like 216 is probably not going to be good for your hobbyist uh, level machine. So just make sure that you use these with a grain of salt. They are the ballpark figures represented off the manufacturer data. So that's the quick rundown on the application here. Once again, this program is not affiliated with Vetric, Amana Tools, or Onsrud. It's just a personal program that I created for personal use, and I'm now just releasing it in case that it may help someone else. The links for downloading this program are below the video.